y'all shalom shalom everybody you here watching and you with bon shemayim i'm bon shemayim and this is the word the it's called the word word right <laughs> working order righteously dividing the word all right so that's really what it's meant so today we're going to be talking about um what's going on oh sorry about that i lost my light y'all but today we're going to be talking about what's going on with, um, sorry about the camera shake. We're going to be talking about what's going on with, um, I'm sorry, when I lost that, I lost my train of mind. So we're going to be talking about what's going on with Donald Trump. I'm hearing that uh, the rumors are out that he's not going to leave the White House, right? And there's a lot of other things going on as well. They're talking about... Uh, you're going to get, they're, they're looking to pass the bill now, which is crazy, right? Because they're looking to pass the bill to help the people, yet they're giving corporations a ton of money again, even though it's proven facts that when the people got the money, it helped the economy more than when the corporations got the money. But they're trying to, they're going to cut the unemployment. So they're saying about $300. And then they're going to cut the, chim the the stimulus check. So they're saying about $600 for that. All right. So anything is better than nothing. But be careful, right? Because you think that they're going to make it good. And anybody with sense should know that those are very little numbers. And they're probably not going to be good. <laughs> you know, the outcome are probably not going to be good for those numbers. Okay. So I, I definitely wanted to hit on that. Because this is a situation we could be going into. There's rumors about China and things going on in that mix. I keep getting phone calls where people would just be like, ching, 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 and don't, and then hang up. Now, I did apply to be a English teacher in China, but that's here to say, here to say, that's been like a month ago, and I done got three or four of those phone calls on my answering machine, and I've answered a couple of them. They come from Washington. <laughs> that's what's so crazy. They come from Washington. DC. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to hit you with the other crazy stuff that's been happening, but just on that note. So you got Donald Trump and what's going on with him. He might not want to leave the White House, might military, martial law, lockdown. They might go in and carry him out, whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll see. Hold your breath, y'all. And then we got the little checks, which is supposed to be the light. That's supposed to be like your light. Like, be happy. We're going to give you checks and extend a couple things, right? They still haven't touched down on the um, people getting kicked out from their houses, the rent extension program. So we'll see if they actually put anything on that. But those that's the story so far. So today is another another uh, word of uplift, right? So we're going into 1 Thessalonians 5. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat that again. 1 Thessalonians 5, right? And uh, this is an uplifting message for those who believe. Because what's coming is not for the righteous. If you're righteous, then hopefully you were being sober and watching and keeping your eyes open. And you're prepared for the events or as prepared as God has prepared you for them, okay? So let's get it. It says... But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, right? Because it's like, you already know what time it is. You already know what season. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, right? So it's going to come when everybody else least expect it. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them, right? So what are we hearing? Peace in safety, right? What are they saying? Peace, meaning the right needs to calm down with the Trump stealing, whatever, whatever. And the left need to calm down and they need to stop going at each other. We need peace. Everybody needs to be peaceful so we could get on to the next thing. And we got the safety thing coming because the vaccine and all of that. 
so you see how it's a manipulation with the brain how they're getting you focus on this watch the magic trick because they they pull it out and the next thing you know they disappear and then they got a rabbit or something like that <laughs> so <clears throat> so it says peace and safety then suddenly destruction cometh upon them so be careful because destruction is about to hit the switch and come right it says, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, the people who believe, the righteous, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief, meaning you will know. You will see it coming. You're not blind. That's why we make these videos. Even if I only get 30 people, thank you, like, and subscribe. Y'all the 30 people who gonna know. <laughs> Praise God, right? Praise God. It says, we are not of the night, nor of the darkness. It says, ye, it says, uh, ye are children of light, right? Because Christ is the light. And it says, in the children of the day, right? Because Christ is the day. And when he come back, we've been living in night this whole time. When Christ come back, it's going to be the day again, the new day, right? It says, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Sleeping mean, is meaning like, don't let this go past you without you paying attention and putting the proper attention to this. Know what's going on so you can be properly prepared. That's what it's saying, right? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us be sober, right? <clears throat> And sober is not talking about like not drinking or smoking. It's talking about to be calm, to be peaceable at mind, to not be ruffled one way or the another, like to not be ruffled on President Trump's side or on the Democrat or whatever, whatever side. Don't pick a side. Be even keeled. Don't let them uh, emotionally mess with you. Do, do not allow them to mess with your emotion. That's what this is saying. Don't allow them to mess with your emotions and play you to one side or another. If you want my honest opinion, it looks like they cheated Trump. I ain't never saw nothing. I've been watching elections my whole life. I ain't never saw nothing like that. But I'm not a Trump fan, nor am I a Biden fan. I'm neither or. I'm a believer in Christ. Neither one of them. Listen, none of them can stop what's coming. You understand? So I'm not for either one to put that out there. But they draw you on. So the, the Democrats, all Trump supporters need to stop crying. Wah, wah, wah. And the Trump supporters is like, you stole it. You robbed it, y'all cheaters. Liars, manipulators. You understand? <clears throat> so it says, uh, but let us watch and be sober, not be brought here, here, you know, here and there. Let us not be taken off with their stories and their narratives. You get what I'm saying? Don't let them dumb you down. It says, uh, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober. You see, not being caught on one side or another or caught off guard. Let us be watching and prepared, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. So faith towards God, Christ, and the word, and love towards our fellow brethren, and everybody else who is a believer. Because this is the whole thing. This is not going, what's coming is not a white thing or a black thing or Arab thing or a Chinese thing. Well, people, people get out, it's so twisted, especially some of our Hebrews who want to blame everybody else. The devil is just using everybody, bro. The devil is, the devil will kill all of you. Because of the devil, death came to man. It's because the devil, without the devil, because of the devil's jealousy, man dies you understand so he will kill he will sacrifice everybody if there's nobody here there's no reason for christ to come back and save the world so stop trying to blame it on different people it's not about to have love for everybody and for a helmet the hope of salvation right <clears throat> the salvation that christ is going to come and redeem you take you from the person who is working towards perfection and grab you in the middle of that work and yank you into perfection. You understand? That's what the hope of salvation is. For God have not appointed us to wrath, right? So he didn't appoint us. He's the one who's going to bring forth the wrath. He didn't appoint us to be angry at whatever happened in our history and to bring it forth on other people. 
It says, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, it says Jesus Christ, but we all know it's saying Ye Yeshaya Mashiach, right? <clears throat> it says, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even also, even as also ye do, right? So it says, where comfort yourselves together. So be prepared to come together in trying to manage your comforts together and edify one another, teaching and building up one another, even as ye do. So do like you're doing now. And it says, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and are admonished and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. So this is about understanding order too. know who's been putting in the work. Don't think just because now you got a, a epiphany because God's been talking to you a little bit. You understand everything because that's not how it works. That's not how it works. The Bible said that uh, the Bible says that uh, let no man teach you, but learn from the spirit. But the Bible also says that you need to follow the elders and the other people put in front of you, just like this is saying. We beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, meaning they are the same as you, but understand their works, understand that God is working with them and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in the in love for their work's sake. So because of their work they've been putting in, place them accordingly where you need to don't idolize them, but put them ab accordingly above you in knowledge and in works. Otherwise, you're trying to get out of the order and you want to be the top. You might not even have the information which God chose to give to these people. Right. <clears throat> and be at peace among yourselves. Now, we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, right? So people who don't follow rules and out of order, warn them like I'm doing now. Comfort the feeble-minded and support the weak, right? So the people who, who just can't see how they'll make it out, comfort them and let them know we're making the steps. We're putting in the steps to survive. That's what we're doing it for. That's what all of this is for, is to survive. That's why God has given us the epiphany of the things that's coming, the prophecies, right? It says, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, and support the weak. So the people who aren't strong in the word, who aren't don't have their faith up and aren't going to be prepared for this, prepare for them. It says, be patient toward, be patient towards all men, right? <clears throat> so be patient with people, knowing that everybody's not going to jump across the street when you jump across the street, the biggest thing when dealing with the word is your immediate family, like your mom, your sister, your wife, your children. Those are the people you want to be on the same page as you. And everybody else can get on their according time, but it, the order should start in the house. All right. <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> see that none render evil for evil unto any man. So just because evil is going on, don't respond back with it. Because the devil is tempting with that notion. He's definitely tempting with that notion. But ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men, right? So follow the good, the word, the righteousness, right? Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ, Jesus concerning you. So the Masiach Yeshaya concerning us. Quench not the spirit, right? Despise not the prophesying, right? So don't get mad because people are telling you what God is putting into them to tell you about the things that's coming in the future. Don't despise it. Prove all things. So study and be approved. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance. Don't be caught up in the evil right? Extain from all appearance of evil. Don't be caught up in the evil. In the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly. I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord, Yeshia Wamasiach. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it.
right? So if he's calling us to do, if he's calling us for the kingdom, then he will prepare that kingdom and come and prepare and protect us during those times when we need him. And that was all I wanted to do. That was uh, uh, trying to uplift people. I know hard times is coming, but don't let your faith get down. All right. All praises to the Most High, Ahaya by Hashem Yashaya, Rabba Wakudash. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bless you so much. Uh, Barakatha, Barakatha. And um, Shalawan, man. Peace and blessings to everybody who's watching this. Thank you. Uh, if if y'all would like and subscribe or share this with somebody who needs it. All right? Because a bunch of people is definitely going to need this. And I thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed one. This is Bon Shemayim signing out. Pray our Father helps us. We pray our Father yeah. helps so us. So many feel so helpless. So many feel yeah. so helpless. Pray our Father helps us. Pray our yeah. Father helps us. We need Him right now.